This protective style can last between one to three months, cost up to $600, and take up to three days to complete. The customization options of this beautiful hairstyle are indeed endless. Then to avoid this whole chat, please skip ahead. Hi guys, it's your girl Miss Audie here. Welcome back to my channel. To anybody who is new, please hit the subscribe button. And if you have any feedback for this video, please let me know, like it, dislike it, give me your feedback, because this is my first video ever doing a live commentary on YouTube. And I welcome all comments and all thoughts. Please let me know. So getting started, as you guys, should know i finally have my own apartment so i'm able to do more and be able to show you guys more diy more hair tutorials more get your life girlfriend stuff and have more chats super you. exciting and something for you guys to look forward to coming from me i'm not sure how often i will be posting however if you hit the subscribe button i promise you i won't be flooding any of your emails or your inboxes it's just to support me and i appreciate you and just an FYI for my subbies, any of my hair chats or hair tutorials will be filmed in a bathroom, whether it be my bathroom or a bathroom that I'm a guest in. And any of my chats will be filmed either on the road or in a different room in my house. So there's so many different formats, but everything will definitely be the same template as far as what I will be discussing in each room. So that's the best part of being a grown up because you can just do what you want, but also like, did you like to go? So, I wanted to talk to you guys today about faux locks. This is my third pair of faux locks. My first pair was the crochet locks. And they really took some time. They took about 12 hours to do. And it wasn't like they lasted long. I think they might have lasted about two weeks before they started to get really like matted and just coming apart. And they would get really caught because they're soft. And it's just... They're soft, they're heavy, and they just weren't long lasting. The second time I got faux locks, I got it done professionally. And those lasted about two to three weeks as well. They started to unravel, which I thought was weird because I paid so much money for them. As you as most of us know, faux locks can cost anywhere between a hundred to six hundred dollars. So for them to be coming unraveled after sitting for so long, you know, it's kind of like a waste of money. Now this is the third time I've done these faux locks and I've had them for about a month now. And I'm not sure if because I did them myself that they have not become unraveled, but it could also be the type of hair I used. So I used Rasta Fry, Rasta Free, not sure, hair. I used pack for the front. I used pack 27. And then the back, oh, excuse me, I actually used this pack in the back, and then in the front I used a mixture of, I think it's 27 and 1B, 1B27, of, this, of the same brand. For my blonde twist, I used Cuban twist hair. And this seems to still be holding up pretty well. One thing that you should definitely know is that this took me about two to three days to put in because it was I was doing it myself and I was definitely taking my time because, you know, it's me. And I still left one out. So, just an added effect of the customization of my faux locks. The longer that you want your faux locks, the longer you will be sitting. These actually go down way past my waistline as you can see which also added to the amount of time that it took me to put them in i have my ends burned let me see if i can find a good one for you guys some of my ends are burned some of them are just regularly just twisted down um here we go when you burn the ends of the hair, it adds to, it makes them stick together more. 
and it's just you're always running your fingers through your hair they do stick a lot and they are quite straining on your scalp that's why it's super important to be able to moisturize i moisturize twice a day in the morning i use my bella curls leave-in conditioner you can literally use any type of leave-in spray um, there are lock sprays that you can use to stop the itching but you definitely want to keep it moisturized or else your hair is going to break off Full locks put a lot of strain on your hair, and if you're not used to having this much weight on your head, it's gonna get tiring and you're gonna waste your money because you're gonna want these out immediately. What I love to add to my leave-in conditioner, well, to my replenishing, replenishing treatment mist, is I like to add a little pepper nut, a pep, pepper nut, peppermint oil to just add a little relief and just like, just uh, soothe it. It's really good. That's my recommendation on how to keep your locks moisturized. Also, please, before you get your locks put in, make sure you do a deep conditioner. Make sure your hair was well conditioned before getting any type of protective hairstyle in your hair or else this protective hairstyle will not serve your hair well. And yeah, that is actually all I have for you. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. I hope this video was helpful and informative to you. Please let me know if I can do any other videos for you. And make sure you follow my Instagram. That's where I post all of my hair tutorials. At It's at Miss Audie. Bye, guys. Have a beautiful day.